One of my best friends died last Saturday. Paratrooper, ex-Special Forces, 51 years old, in, in best shape of his life. I mean, lived life. You have no idea. Just goes to sleep, doesn't wake up. Black guy. Oh, my. I think... Jeez. I think that this ties into the Jamie Foxx theory. I, I worked my butt off to get a story about why what happened to Jamie Foxx. Because it was all baloney what they were reporting. He's playing pickleball. He's uh, responding on Instagram. No, he's not. People do that for you. It's all lies. I had somebody in the room who let me know that Jamie had a blood clot in his brain after he got the shot. He did not want the shot, but the movie he was on... He was pressured to get it. This movie he's doing with Cameron Diaz. And I'm thinking, is that why he blew up on the set a week before this medical emergency happened? Is that why he fired three or four people because he just had had it with these mandates? I don't know. But what I found out from the man in the room was that uh, the blood clot in the brain caused him at that point to be partially paralyzed and blind. Because if you read into what they were saying early on, he's communicating with us. That doesn't mean talking. That could be anything. It could be, you know, writing, yeah. sign. You know, I know those little code words. And then when you tell me your father's playing pickleball, give me a break. You know, I don't know. There's a great shroud of secrecy around Jamie Foxx. He's probably the most multi-talented person we have in Hollywood. Um, but even TMZ is not reporting this. And I know TMZ has got sources in hospitals who give them information, whether it's legal or not, but they're not, they're, they're not re Mike Tyson got close a week after I broke my story on my show. Mike Tyson said that Jamie had a blood clot in his brain. No one's gone that far to say that yet. Uh, I think Mike did. And he probably got a phone well, call. Hold and on. Said, hey, AJ, let me let me let me yeah. sort of step back a little bit from what you're saying and just say, look, uh, b blood in the brain is a cerebral bleed. It's not a stroke. A stroke is a blood clot in an artery to the brain that cuts off the blood supply to the brain and the brain dies. So we're talking about and it's been widely known that he had a stroke right i mean they've said stroke a hundred many times yeah so it, it's to say it's a blood clot in the brain is sort of it's a stroke it's a blood clot in an artery that cuts off the supply that part of the brain is dead and it right. has very serious consequences uh, it depends on where which artery and what the anatomy of that artery is to what parts of the brain whatnot but it is not something that yeah i mean Let's put it this way. Is he still in the hospital? Is that is that what I'm supposed to believe? Yeah. And playing pickleball? Yeah. <laughs> is that <laughs> I, I don't think it's, it's all baloney. It's all baloney. The, the, the daughters are doing the speaking for him. His oldest daughter, Corinne, is doing the speaking. She said he's been out of the hospital for weeks, but that's not true. He's at a very good hospital in Chicago who specializes in this kind of rehab. Um, and every friend who comes out, whether it's Kevin Hart or Nick Cannon or whoever, all says pray for Jamie. He's got to get through this. Nobody comes out with great news. It's always somber.